We can now enjoy another good harvest of those sweet Vidalia onions. Don't you love them? This year's supply should last all summer long. Now, even though onion producers subscribe to traditional production practices, there is extensive research underway to keep the quality high while meeting changing market conditions. Here's Rick Trepto. The University of Georgia's Vidalia Onion and Vegetable Research Center is in Toombs County. There are 11 acres. That's a lot of onions. It takes a good year-round workforce to keep the center operating. We have a detail of inmates that comes from Rogers State Prison every day. And so these labor-intensive vegetable studies we can handle. Fewer research technicians and student workers are needed here. Prison labor also helped construct a new center headquarters building, inside and out. We have a dozen specialists and, and researchers, and scientists that are out here working on these projects. We also are uh, doing more organic work probably than any other area, not just on onions, but other crops as well. The retailers now say that the housewives really don't care for quite as many colossal onions, so we're attempting to grow smaller onions get back to our more traditional uh, mix of an 80% jumbo, 20% medium type market. Reed Torrance told me the colossal onions are truly that. They are usually over four and a half inches wide. One we weighed was close to two pounds. Growers are tending to increase plant populations to reduce these larger onions so they have more plants per acre. They tend to be smaller. So uh, we're following suit with some of our studies to try to uh, mimic what they're doing and we're getting the desired result. In fact, the planting space has been narrowed from six to four inches. The yellow granex is the only state approved variety type, but there are many sub varieties. Some developed in Japan are larger than normal. Growers are very interested in uh, developing varieties for the red and white onion markets and, and have the Vidalia name on those. So we're in the process of screening those varieties. Uh, that could be a big boom for the Vidalia industry if we could get a suitable uh, red onion particularly uh, that would be widely used on salad bars and things of that nature. The wet, cool February and March weather presented some unusual conditions at the research center and for all the growers. We kind of had a lag in, in the development of the crop, so we're a little concerned about this whole size issue and hoping that we've not uh, overdone it as far as trying to produce smaller onions. On some of the traditional varieties, um, it's a little early to say kind of where we'll end up, but I think overall everything's looking good, as long as we can keep clear weather. The onions overall look good. We, we come through the winter surprisingly well. So how long do these experts say we will be able to enjoy this year's crop? Well, traditionally, we have fresh market onions on the, on the shelves all the way until about May 25th, the first part of June. Then they'll put everything in storage, uh, start taking them out of storage, and hopefully the past two years we've been out of storage by around the first part of September. Different varieties of tomatoes, cantaloupes, and watermelons are just a few of the other fruit and vegetables the center studies. But the tombs in Tattanoe County areas of Georgia are known for high quality sweet onions. The emphasis on them will not change. I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.